Hello and welcome to Grace in Australia Diecast Salvage. Videos on this channel is directed to the adult community as it contains strippers, so good it'll take the paint off diecast vehicles, nudity of paint stripped diecast vehicles, and a man playing with his tools. Adult supervision advised for those under 16 years in age. So come along, enjoy what's coming up. In this week's episode, we've been asked to see if we can't refurbish these dinky toys. Superior Rescue were on a Cadillac body. Everything is there. Good glass. All the tyres are there. The rear door is there. And it does open. I'll get my fingers to work. There we go. We don't have a patient in this one. All these pretend lights are there. We do have a beacon up on top. This is the, the non-battery version. So we'll put it on the other magic roundabout, as Martin Dare would say, and we'll have another look at it. Right, here is the base of the Dinky Toys Superior Rescuer on a Cadillac chassis. The base is in good condition. As we said a little look, moment ago, that um, everything else is in, everything else is there. The glass is good. Just, I'll see if we can't get, get the, the glare out the way. We'll just go around here. Alright, this is a one, 137 scale. So it's slightly larger than the normal dinkies, which are usually around, which are, <laughs> if I put my teeth in correctly, which are roughly about the 143 scale. This one's slightly larger. Uh, again, we have the beacon up the top, or the siren. We have the other lights, well, pretend lights. We have the beacon up top, I'll just go it up there. We have the rear door, we have the rear rear lights up the top here. So everything is there. We just need to uh, give it a refurbish. All right, catch you at the moment at the workbench. All right, so let's, let's do a disassemble of our Dicky Toys, Superior Rescuer on Cadillac Chassis. Now what's really nice about this, it already comes with a screw. So, let's see what we can do. We'll put it in our box so we don't lose it. It's held in with a tab in the back. Our base. Oops. We have one wheel. We have the second wheel. The axles are, are, are straight, they're clean. We may do a refurbish on, on those. Yeah. Interior. It's basic, but it's solid. Need to go wash. Maybe what comes out next? And turn this around a bit. Okay, our door has come out next. It does have. I have. If I've got my fingers in the way, I do. All right. So it has a. A plastic um, door card or the plastic inside that help that holds the windscreen in and also holds the the, the door 
the door hinge. So let's see whether we can get this off without breaking. All right, door cart is in. The hinge is in. And then we are left with our plastic glass. So we'll see if we can't get it out without breaking it. There we go. Our glass is out. And we have a couple of little visitors of the feathered kind down here wanting to come in and have a little look just to see what we're doing. Isn't that nice? All right, that's the rear door. Now, the screen comes out. It's not riveted in. Uh, we'll just give that a, a nice clean up. It still has its all these stripes or decals on the window there. Now, I'll just see if I, if I can hold it up without um, going too far off screen. One has already come out. These items here, you're pushing them in. It's already doing it before, before I get to it. So we hope, hopefully we don't lose them. These are the lights for the, for the back. I'm fairly sure that they're in, interchangeable with the ones in the front. There we go. We'll turn the whole thing upside down. What we're talking about are, are these pieces here. Can't mix them. Can't mix them up. Because they will push forward, I believe. What we might do first is we'll take that top beacon out. Or does she push in? I'm not percent sure that I'll come, I'll come back to that one. The Trying to have a look. The siren here. We may, we may need to grind down. Just in there, if you can see. We might need to grind that down to get the siren out. So, I'm just having. I'm just having a look at to see. On these parts here because that's one piece we have had we have had this apart once before I wasn't to just to see how we how it came apart yeah. all right I'll do this off camera because otherwise it's going to take too long catch you in a moment all right we've taken the beacon out from the top here and that was just a matter of giving it a bit of English push on the on the inside and she came out now to get these to get these off you come inside you see it check on the on the back on the back here you give it just a little bit of push a little bit of English you come back on onto the front here you can then get behind it and just slowly lever it forward she'll come loose again when you do it on camera it doesn't work like it does off camera there we go it's now out and we'll stick it in our pile so that leaves us with the siren to get off. I'll do that off camera as it will need to be ground here and we don't need to 
hear all the noise that happens with that. The front grille and the and the rear bumper will be the will be the same thing. We'll take we'll take off the mushrooms there and there. If the top one's in, there we go. If the mushroom off the, off the two, and then we'll get the front and rear bumpers off as well. Catch you in a moment. So I've just been spending half an hour looking for the rear bumper that got dropped onto the floor. Anyway, it's been found. So 18 pieces in total. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen. 18 pieces. The most pieces are in this rear door. Oh, there's, four, there's four pieces there. Anyway, that's the thing disassembled. So we'll put all our smaller pieces into a container so that we don't lose them. We'll chuck the tyres in there at the moment. The We'll polish these up because this is cast, so we'll polish them up. Uh, well, I'll just check to see if if the um, sight markers are are in, painted in. It's, uh looks like these were painted in afterwards. No matter if they if they are, whether they try again, stick my teeth in properly. Again, I don't have dentures. Just a fat, just a foul tongue, every so often. The I will paint the sight markers in, whether they're original or not. So, plastic needs to be cleaned. The door needs to go in with our strippers. Glass go in there. Okay. Those three items will meet up with our strippers. The other items will go into Crackhorn Nick's four man's wash machine. So, catch you in a moment. All right, we all know what time it is. We have to, there we go. Just, we'll get a real front row seat. All right. Our girls are ready. Are you ready? Here we go. As you can see, the, the girls are doing a wonderful job today. Just top, top the whole vehicle up into a nice hot water. Give it a nice bath. Lots of paint floating around. Lots of reactions. As you can see with the door down here, a lot of it's been taken off. You saw just a moment ago that um, by pouring the water in, we had a lot of paint stripped, so we've seen the, the, the good reaction of all the bubbles. Lovely, 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 jubbly. All right, we'll let that go for a couple of moments. We won't bore you too much. I think we've seen, we've seen enough fizzy, fizziness. There we go. The girls are doing the shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. I can't say any more, otherwise I might get in trouble with copyright. Okay, I'll do... Um, I'll put the kettle back where it should be, and we'll be back in a moment. So we're out of the stripper bath, and let's have a look. Here's our base. 
Uh, we've got one little speck of black paint on there, so that's not a 100% paint removal. We have a little bit of paint down the bottom there. So, not 100%. We've got a little bit in there. A little bit in that corner there. So, not 100% paint removal. Oh well. Better luck next time, but we've got a 99.9999%. That's not bad. I'll be I'll be happy with that. So we'll go into our, our brass bristle brush, and we'll just give it a bit of a brush. Off. We will paint this this black again. And then again, I might put, just put some polish onto it and. This way, just easier on my fingers. As you can see, that's polished up nicely. We'll do the we'll do the other side as well. That's polished up nicely. Now comes a big one. See, this is where she, when we finish the polishing, she'll come out ra rather nice compared to that side. So we'll do the rest off camera and we'll see you in a moment. <coughs> Excuse me. We've just finished with the bristle brush. We'll go on to the, to the steel wool. Just to give it that finer polish on there. you'll see this side here is just been done with the brass brush this side here's the brass brush with our with our PC so I'll finish that off off camera and when we come back we'll probably see this thing in primer see you in a moment right, so we have the Caddy and primer. We are using a, a new airbrush, and this has a 0.4 mil needle, and things come out a lot faster. I have tried it with uh, one of the other airbrushes from the from the previous battery operated ones. And that they were 0.3 needles. Now this is a 0.4, and she comes out very, 
nicely and fast. And I have have it on a disposable cup. Uh, we'll see what we can do. This will take a, f a few coats. As that was on the that was on the low speed, so we'll let we'll let that tack up, and we'll come come back when she's uh, when she has her full coat of white, and then we'll mask her off and put our red down the bottom. So we'll catch you soon. All right, we have our white base coat on and as you can see we're about to tape off this bottom part and what I've done is get some frog tape as you saw it was rather wide I've cut it in half and according to all the pictures it's just below the the waistline here that um, is all red so we'll get to our our tape ready. I'll just put this on a on a better angle so that we're just going to come on to just have something balance the casting and we get it along the oh, just a little bit too high. This one can be fairly easy to do because you have that belt line. And now that we've got it there, just make sure that that we don't get um, too much to bleed up the top there. And now it's just a matter of. Grabbing the other, and these little shear type scissors are excellent to slip because they're not too big. And this top part can be doesn't have to be perfect to tape up as long as you're covering up the exposed areas. Like I say the shears work well. It's a short piece for the top. You're hearing a news report in the in the background from the TV. So we just need to do that part there, even though that's behind the bumper. This part here, we shall just give it a, a cover.
We'll just give the underside of that nose there a cover as well. Uh, they're talking about horse racing. Not my cup of tea, sorry. But what can, what can you do when they're doing a, a sports report? Just have to go with the flow. Anyway, I digress. Okay. There you, you can see that we've got the, the vehicle fairly well covered. Like I say, the little bits down the bottom here I'm not too concerned about, which is the, the tail lights, which are still exposed. But we shall get on to that. All right, so we're back in a moment and uh, we shall paint the red part. Catch it. Catch you in a moment. Okay, so we're now ready to paint our red bit. I'm using my 0.4mm airbrush. I'll put it on the low speed and away we go, so to speak. Just turn it. Turn it around the other way. Put that down. As you can, as you can hear the, it's not that loud. The, the air compressor. So we'll again. down near the bottom and we're done so we shall let that do its dryness and uh, we'll come back to take the paint off uh, paint off <laughs> we're done the paint stripping we'll take the tape off see you in a moment all right, so we're back from our dizzy, dizzy heights of our paint. I've done the clean-up of the airbrush. That's always a fun job. And now we get to take the tape off. Uh, again, this is one, one of the fun, fun jobs where we get to see how well we mark things off. The first part here I'm not too worried about because it's the, the top but here we go. Moment of truth. So far so good. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, I'm definitely happy with that. Okay, let's see if we can replicate the same thing on, on this side. So. so far, so good. Okay, just doing a examination. Well, if my name was Marty from Marty Matchbox Makeovers, I'd be saying I'm happy with that. So we'll get rid of the tape. We'll just put that back on its. Where's my little cover? My little cup. There it is. We'll just put it back onto the balancing cup to let it completely dry. 
the tailgate has been been painted, so we can start putting start putting things together again. Well, the base has been painted, so we can put that there. We still need to do the wash up and clean up on these items. So we shall start to crack onto that before the ambulance falls nose first there. So we'll just park him up there. So that needs to be washed and given a bit of a polish. Otherwise it, the, the, the screen's not too bad. The interior isn't too bad. The the rear screen for the for the tail for the rear door needs to be clean. As does the interior. Now the tires. Let's have a quick quick gander at the tyres. Somebody's touched them up in the past. So we may need to do give them a bit of a, a clean up. And we need to go over the the grill to see if that we can pol polish them up better. Here's the, re here's the rear bumper that I almost lost when we did the disassemble. Alright, so that's the front. Alright, we'll come back when we've got the poor man's. We'll, we'll take it from Cra Craphorn Nick, his um, poor man's wash machine. Sorry, Nick, I'll give it back to you next time. And we'll crack on from there. Okay, so we're back up to the part where we're using Craport Nick's poor man's wash machine. I'll give it back to him, don't worry. So, in goes the, the door card for the rear window. As the rear window, there goes the main unit. Throw the front bumper in. Won't hurt to throw the tyres in. Rear door hinge. Rear bumper. Main beacon. Let's hope I don't lose anything now that I've taken everything out. Uh, we have the siren. Flashing lights. Rear flashing light, the front flashing light, another one, and we won't need, we need to put the screw in. And I think I have a, a bumper from the, another vehicle, which I'll put aside. Anyway, raving on, we're raving on here, just finding a space in my junk pile where, where to put it over there. Okay, so let's get into into some cleaning. So we'll do the, the glass first. Not all that much wrong, wrong with it. Besides just the cleaning. We'll do, we'll do the insides as well. And we'll give it an Go and left at this. I'll get a microfiber cloth to dry it off. Now don't forget the DMC November challenge. It's for any matchbox vehicle. Come along, take. Take part into it. 
any matchbox vehicle. Before and after shots, 15th of October. Video, should you decide to do a video, is for the, excuse me, is for the 18th of October, 18th of October, 18th of November. If you haven't joined us down at the Diecast and Models community, link, it, link is in the description below. I think I need a different microphone, but there we go. I'll use this one. We might need to give this a, a dip into the polishing up. So we'll go to the next glass, which is the one on the back door. Again, we'll give it a, a dry. Yeah, November, November build for the DMC challenge is any matchbox vehicle. It can be king size, it can be the Regular wheels, it can be super fast wheels, it can be the Moco. It, uh, yeah, it can be any of those. Now I do have, from last week, from that time of th this video going up, previous week, I did put up a video with 32 castings for you to choose from. I'll leave that up for another, I'll leave that video Let's say, I'll leave that video, I will leave that video going, but the cutoff for the comments as to which vehicle build that this channel will do, the Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage Channel, is your, it's your vote. So. Vote on the vehicle or comment on the vehicle that you would like to see this channel do for the diecast and modelers any matchbox vehicle challenge. I do have a couple of favourites that I that uh, should they not be a clear winner? Sorry for being so far off camera. Now we'll need a polish up. Go with the rear bumper. Is it clean? Going back to what I was rambling on about. Should there not be a clear winner? Of your choice, then I will choose. I will choose a vehicle. I do have three in mind. Two which two castings, which are on that video, and another casting that I didn't show in the video. I rather do a casting that my viewers have chosen. So anyway, we'll keep going on here, cleaning up the, the tyres. They, they look good, they look excellent. Okay, they look quite good. So, we'll do the, we'll do the other tyres. They look like they have been re chrome because there's slippage onto the tire part themselves, which I'm sure Dinky didn't do. All right, this, this set of tires need to be redone, need to be re-blacked and, and re-silvered. 
we've got the rear door hinge, which isn't really going to be seen. So we'll stick that back into, into the plastic container. And that's only the, the bacon. I'll keep doing this. You don't need to see it all. And we'll catch you in a moment. Okay, we have polished the screen with some of this um, the Odysseal metal polish. We didn't do the, the side parts here so, so much because it's shiny from the decal that's on there on both sides. So we're just going to dip it into the, where did I put it? There we go. Into the Long Life Self Shining Floor Polish, which is the, the white stuff which everybody uses that they call Pledge. So we're just going to dip the front of it in. Just, just knock off the edge. We'll stick it on onto onto there, and looking for a cover. There we go. So we'll cover. We'll let that. We'll let that sit. We'll pour the. Pour the floor polish back into its bottle. And the next stage should be assembly. See you then. I'd like to apologise that we don't have any footage of the reassembly of the Dinky Superior Rescuer on a Cadillac chassis. What we've done with this vehicle is we have stripped it off its paint. It's been repainted. Back to its original colours, or well, as close to as, we've polished the grill. We've polished all the other parts. We have chromed the door handles. We've done some touch-ups on the chrome parts of the tyres. We've chromed the door handle on the rear door. We have amber turn signals, as these are a requirement here in Australia. We don't have a patient, we don't have the stretcher, so that might be something that we might order down the track if we put in an order to the parts people like Steve Flowers, Recover Toy or some of the other places out there. That's something that we may do in the, in the future if we, do, if we do a big order in. So as you can see the rear door closes correctly I'd like to thank the subscribers to the channel. I'd like to thank the first time viewers to the channel. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.